Free Travelers, welcome back. We, uh, last time we met, we told you we were gonna start a football game, run on Instagram, but that on our next show, we were gonna go to one of the towns hosting a football game this weekend. That's correct. That's and uh, you know, Mike, I looked at I looked at going to Eugene. I know. I said it's like a great idea. Well, you know, it got to be a pretty time of year up there. It's got to be. Come Absolutely. On. I, and, I, and there's some neat places in South Bend. Oh, well, we've been to some. We have. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, you know. Absolutely. But, but what, we've landed on one in particular for a particular reason. Yeah, we did because um, the the Chick Fil A kickoff games this year's two. One Saturday night, one Monday night. The Chick-fil-A kickoff games are both in the Mercedes-Benz Dome in Atlanta, Georgia. That's right. That would be that would be the game between uh, Georgia, Georgia and Oregon. Georgia and Oregon, and the game between uh, Georgia Tech and Clemson. That's right. Okay. And and you know so uh, we we went here because there's two games. Absolutely. And what we're going to do, what we're going to do is highlight a brewery for one game and highlight a brewery for another game. That's, that's right. And we, we, we strongly suggest yes. that um, Georgia Tech viewers go to one and Georgia viewers go to the other because we're going to keep them apart. <laughs> I think that's probably a good idea. We if, they were play playing, if they were playing each other, we'd have trouble. I know. I know. That's absolutely right. That's absolutely right. All right. Well, let's, let's dive in. Um, we're going to start at uh, Monday night. Okay. Now, was that for the Georgia Tech Georgia game? Or the no, that's Georgia the Georgia Tech, Tech game. Georgia Tech game. You know, they're, right. they're closer to campus. Okay. And there's other reasons. All right. Which we'll talk about in a minute. Very good. Let's Mo go for it. Monday Night Brewing is a, uh, uh, again, based in Atlanta. It is a wonderful place. It uh, the, Their original location is basically a large warehouse looking spot. Uh, when we've seen others of those, but a large warehouse spot that is, uh, you know, cavernous with tables and an enormous bar and, and beer selection. I got you. I got you. They have, they have really, they have a lot of beers. Oh, How gosh. And by the way, if you're if you're in the high ABV, <laughs> hey, this place has them. There's like 28 beers that have an ABV above eight. Uh, that, that's that's right. There yeah. is uh, and there's one that goes all the way up to 13 and a half. These these people are serious. They are serious about are serious. their their alcohol. Hey, well, I'll tell you what, that must be a great place to watch ball That's why I'm encouraging all Georgia Tech fans to go there. <laughs> don't forget, <laughs> we haven't mentioned this recently, don't forget your designated driver, especially with beers of that size. Well, there's no question about it, and that, that I think we've kind of failed on that because we've been focusing on lower alcohol beers. That's right. But sometimes you just want to go and get a good beer to chew on a while. That's right. That's and right. Uh, and Monday night's got some. They had 22 beers uh, uh, the, uh, the the day we were there, and I think uh, 17 of those were in the uh, moderate to high ABV category. Right. Uh, so their their lower end is uh, they got some really good beers on the lower end, uh -huh. uh, but um, you know like Lalo. It's a it's a great uh, almost a, a diet. Light yeah. It's a very light IPA. Wonderful beer, uh, and I gotta tell you, but you know, this happens every now and then. Mike, we go to a brewery, and we we work with a bartender there. We do. That's just a great guy. He was, and he and was. helped us. And his name was Mitchell. Mitchell, if you ever see this show, hope you do. Thumbs up, bud. You you did a great job. We. Uh, I, I got a question. We go about football for a minute. Oh yeah. Uh, pretend it's halftime. It's halftime. Now these big beers that we're talking about. Big beers. Is it the team that's losing or the team that's winning and drinks the most? <laughs> <laughs> I think that the team that's losing, because if they drink that all the way through halftime, they're going to forget the game. Either that or all of a sudden they'll be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Monday night, uh, you know, they do have a lot of the high alcohol beers. Right there. This fun, it's a fun environment, and uh, and the people there were really, really friendly. It's pretty close to the stadium, isn't it? Oh, it's very close to the stadium, okay. yeah. It's, uh, now, another brewery. That's also close to the stadium, about uh, two miles up uh, uh, I-75 there. At the Howell Mill exit is Firemaker. That was a good place also. Oh, gosh. I really like Firemaker. And, and one of the things, Mike, is, uh, you, you, you know, parking lot, you go in, and the parking lot's kind of tight. It is. Kind of tight. But, you know, you go in, you walk up the steps, 
And there's beautiful uh, uh, mural painted on the wall. You're right. That's, that's a very, very interesting place because of that. It, it is. Uh, and then, you know, you go inside and, and um, they, they had plenty of beers, and uh, I, I thought, it, I think the beer's really, really good, Mike. They really do. It's, it's probably a more even type of place in terms of ABV. They, uh, they have a good mix of everything. Well, they do, and there's part of a reason for that. They, they had uh, 17 beers the day we were there. Mm -hmm. Six of them were sours. Okay. And so, the, you know, and one of them was a sour IPA. Never heard of that. No. But they, they got it. Yeah. And I, did you try no, I didn't try that. I didn't either. Anyway, they, they, uh, 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 sours generally are low to moderate ABVs, and so all six of those are in the 5.5% uh, or less. Uh, and then they had uh, other stuff. They did. They did. We, uh, we, we, I had an IPA when I was there, but that's not surprising. That's what I, usually have. <laughs> I, had, I uh, never mentioned that last one we went, I had a Scotch, Scotch ale. Oh, yeah. yeah well, which, ale was good. Drafty Kilt, which is their Scotch Drafty ale. Kilt. That's yeah. a good beer. That's from Monday night, right? Uh, yeah, we drink two of those and you get a real good nap. Anyway, Okay, anyway, we a uh, firemaker. I got they had a brand new beer out, brand new IPA, yeah, 7.2% called Hazed and Dave, Hazed and Blazed. And and uh, I gotta tell you, it's a good beer, it is a good beer. I, I had one of those also. Oh, see, yeah, yeah. all right, I, there, I'm not sure if I was following you or you following me, but <laughs> I'm glad we both did. It was a good yeah, beer, absolutely. Okay, you know what we haven't done yet? What's that? Well, I tell you what, we told them the last show that okay. we were going to pick the winners of those three games. We did. Uh, we came. Who are you going with? Well, I got to tell you, uh, you know, I had uh, two of my kids graduated from Georgia. Uh huh. So I'm going the Georgia Bulldogs over the Oregon Ducks. Georgia Bulldogs over the Oregon Ducks. Yeah. Uh, you, know, you know that I went to the University of Georgia Law School for I knew, a year. Yeah, I knew. So I really have some ties there. You, you do. But I got to go to the West Coast. You come on. Oregon. Oh, come on, Eugene. Okay, now the next game is uh, part of the Chick-fil-A kickoff is Georgia Tech Clemson. Georgia Tech Clemson. I got to go with Clemson here, Mike. Well, I'd like to disagree with you, but I, I, I gamble a lot. I mean, come on. <laughs> I, I went to two schools, Kansas and, and, and University of Virginia. Right. And there was a point in time over the years that those two schools had tied the record for the most losses in a row, 28 games. So you learned all about it. I learned how to pick up sets. <laughs> but I'm not doing it this time. No. Yeah, I got to tell you, Cle Clemson may have been a little bit down last year, but that's a great program. George Tech got a brand new coach. Yeah. And they they came off a struggling uh, program. So so I, I hear Clemson here, Mike. I have to go to Clemson also. All right. Go to Clemson also. Third game. Notre Dame, Ohio State. Well, that was tough. That's not as easy. No. So who, who'd not. you pick? Who are you going with? I'm going to go with Notre Dame. Notre Dame? Notre Dame. Come on. Hey, come on. South Bend's got a good brewery. Uh, they, they do. They got, they got some good breweries there, too. They do. But, you know, I'm going with Ohio State in Columbus, Ohio. Okay. We've been to breweries there. We've been to breweries there, we, too. We ran a race there. We ran a race. Yeah. Hey, y'all didn't get to do it, but, but one of the races we ran in Indiana finished on the 50-yard line. It's oh, that, that sounds fun. Oh, that's that's fun. probably why you're picking them. Yeah. You've been there. That's right. Okay. Well, anyway, he um, he thinks because he saw a touchdown Jesus, Jesus from the football field that, that he's right on this pick. But I don't think he is. It's Ohio State. Okay. Okay. We got, we got three picks and two of them are different. That's right. We're going to have some fun. Now, look. We want you to participate in this, and we all want y'all to beat Mike. So here's the thing. We... we uh, on our Instagram account, again, Brewery Travel Channel, send me your vote. And at the end of the, after the games, we're going to post the winners. Who beat Rob? Who beat Mike? And who beat both of us? That's so, right. you know, you're going to get a little recognition. We ask you to play. Come on. We're going to uh, also have the, the rules and stuff on Instagram, but it's pretty simple. You send me your vote, and at kickoff, the voting's over. There you go. That's it. Mike, I'm going to win most of these games. No, you're not. <laughs> hey, we'll see you, see you next week. See you next week after the games.